Hello, I'm Dr. Christine Greaves, and I'm an OBGYN for Orlando Health, and today's taboo topic is the menstrual cycle. The follicular phase is the beginning. It's the first part of the menstrual cycle, and it's the um, part where it builds up and up and up and up and up, the lining that is, and also the hormones start building up, and then the change of the phases, meaning it goes from the follicular phase to the luteal phase when ovulation occurs, meaning when an egg is released. And so once the egg is released, it's then the luteal phase. And then comes the period. And it depends on the type of birth control that you're using as to how you can skip your period. For example, if you're on the regular pill, you can continue taking the regular pills, not the placebo pills or sugar pills. You can, you can continue taking that to help support that lining, to help prevent that withdrawal bleed. Now, mind you, I would talk about this with your OBGYN before to make sure that that's okay for you to do. There are other modalities, though, to try to avoid having a period um, as well. Like, for example, there's an IUD that has levonorgestrel on there. It's a progesterone hormone. And that particular IUD is actually used to treat women who have abnormal uterine bleeding. So there are so many different things, so many different items to help us when we're on our period. You can use a pad, a tampon, or a menstrual cup. And it's just a matter of what is needed for you and your body, meaning your flow, your activity level, et cetera. You can still have sex when you're on your period. It will not hurt you or your partner. If you're bleeding though, keep in mind that you may want to put a towel down or something like that. So that way blood doesn't go in various places. I hope this topic just became a little less taboo. Thanks for watching.